It's in his 900th NHL game tonight. What has he meant to this club? Well, he's, I mean, he's kind of been the epitome of, you know, of our, of our group um, and the growth of our group here over the last, uh, last year and a half, really. Um, he's a leader. He's a guy that shows up and plays hard every night. He's, you know, extremely well respected in the in the dressing room, and for good reason. I mean, he's, you know, as I said, playing 900 games in this league is pretty. That's a pretty special mark in itself. Um, and there's, you know, there's still a lot more to come for Ebbs. Is Martin Jones your starter tonight? Yes. Will James Schwartz be in the lineup? Game time decision. When you were, so when we talk about like the start of this road trip in Edmonton, you're saying how important it was to take this game by game because. Even you had, you know, never maybe been on a road trip this long. What would you have considered success on this trip? I wouldn't have put a second thought into it. I, I meant it one game at a time. I mean, that's it. Like, it's not. It's not just about one road trip. I mean, we're we're now at the halfway point of the year. Uh, we got a really important hockey game tonight. So, uh, take advantage of the opportunity tonight, and then you know, once we're once we're uh, on the other side of this game, then we'll worry about you know what's coming next. Um, you know, you can you can talk all you want about this road trip, but in reality, I mean, it doesn't end. We go home for, for whatever 24 hours, and we're back on the road in Edmonton. So, um, no change in approach. Just try to take care of business. You know, day in and day out. Uh, try and take advantage of the opportunity and be ready to play uh, every single night. Um, and and our group has done a really good job of doing exactly that. Dave, when you look at the success on the ice, what has stood out to you in terms of the mental preparedness that your group has had? Well, just, uh, you know, being able to do it every day. Um, you know, we've started pretty well most games on this road trip. We've had a couple where we haven't, and we've had to dig out and, and get ourselves going after the first seven, eight, nine, ten minutes. Um, you know, and that's you know, I, I credit the group for being able to do that too. Obviously, you want to have you want to have a great start. You want to be, uh, you know, you want to be ready to play and play with pace immediately at the start of games, especially on the road, so you're not uh, digging yourself a hole and playing from behind. Um, but you know, really, it's just that that readiness, uh, you know, to be ready and, and, and compete from the drop of the puck. How happy have you been with Maddie Veneers? This yeah, Maddie's uh, Maddie's done a really good job. He's you know he's going through a lot of new experiences. He handles them all very well. Um, you know he's uh, obviously he's a guy that draws a lot of attention, uh, but but he uh, he handles that on the ice and off the ice very well, and you can see that in his demeanor, both on and off the ice. Do you think having that extra year in college helped him to? come in and have this success no, right away yeah, no, no question it did everybody's different um, this is a you know this is a really hard league uh, as, as an 18 year old uh, so you know everybody has a different pathway whether it's you know through college hockey through junior hockey spending time in the American League uh, there's different pathways to this league and and you know for sure for Maddie you know his uh, you know his year last year was really valuable uh, played on an outstanding team had a lot of success uh, and it was evident you know when he came to us at the end of the year for the the final 10 games that he was he was ready to compete in this league and and play in this league every day so it sounds like you're not using the chance to make NHL history tonight as any kind of extra motivation or fuel I actually didn't even know there was anything on the line in terms of NHL history so What's your name? NBA history, technically. <laughs> Although Ed said it's because we're very few teams, so they play rarely play seven games on the road. <laughs> well, as I said, when we started in Edmonton, I don't think I've been part of a road trip like this. So, um, no. What what I'm most interested in is the two points tonight. Uh, we're we're where we want to be. We're we're in the middle of uh, you know uh, you know of of competing for a playoff spot. Uh, and we're at the midway point of the year going into the second half. Uh, these points are really important. What's the external impression of the Blackhawks? Playing well, play with speed. Um, you know, they got a group on the back end that defends extremely well. Um, we better be ready to play. What do you remember about coaching Jonathan Taves in college, and are there any resemblances between Taves and Matty Beneers? A little bit different players, uh, but you know, in in some respects, there's some you know definitely some similarities on the ice in terms of their uh, their will uh, to be responsible two ways, um, and that doesn't mean that they're defensive minded because you know I think if you ask both players, they you know they would they would uh, 
you know, want to talk about their offensive abilities and, and their capabilities on that side of the puck, but just, you know, the the mental ability to, to really take care of the, the game at both ends of the ice, um, you know, and an ability to just handle uh, difficult situations and, and want to be out there in those situations and know that you're going to be successful. I see that in both guys. Uh, obviously, you know, Johnny's done it. He's, he's been as successful as any uh, in this league on, on all different levels. Maddie's just starting out, um, you know, but it's certainly some of those, see some of those qualities and, and uh, the drive uh, that, that a young Jonathan Taves had.